This is the instruction video for the MR Radiomics platform. In this video, I will show you how to create region of interest uh, multi-modality MR images using this platform. In the previous videos, I have already showed you how to import the serial DICOM images into this platform, followed by performing imaging co-registration between different imaging contrasts. And now, once the imaging co-registration is done, we are ready to perform the multi-modality ROI process. Now you can click the multi-ROI button right here within imaging co-registration figure. Before the introduction of the multi-ROI platform, I'd like to mention that the image co-registration is actually not the necessary step before you can create multi-modality ROI. For example, if I close this image co-registration figure and I click the multi-modality ROI button again in the main window, the mandatory step that you need to do before clicking this button is to assign one specific reference image. As we mentioned before, we use the post-contrast T1 weighted imaging as the reference image. But now, in this step, you don't need to reassign the source images again. If you are sure that all the co-registrated images are there in the subject folder, then you don't need to perform the image co-registration again. You can simply click the multi ally button right here. Then a new window will pop up. It will automatically uh, import all the imaging that you have already done the image co-registration before. So now you can see this one is the original reference imaging. And now there is also the co-registered uh, T2 fair image right here. So you can simply click the, or select the different items within this, this pop-up menu. Then you can switch into different image contrast. Now you can scroll your mouse wheel right here, up and down. Then you can review all the slices within a specific image contrast. And also, it will be very helpful that you can right-click your button, your mouse button, and just move your mouse up and down, left and right, to adjust the image contrast. So now let us adjust this to make the contrast between the uh, tumor caused edema much more obvious right here. And now you can see right here there is some information displayed in this imaging panel. There is the slice number. Now the displayed imaging is the 24th one of all 48 images in this image contrast. And also you can see there is the indicator right here showing the current mouse coordinates right here and also the image intensity. So once you move around your mouse, you can see the numbers are kept updated. And now let's introduce three panels in the right hand side. The first one would be the RI panel. The second one is the process panel. And the final one is for the bio input and output. In the RI panel, you are able to simply click the new button right here. And then your mouse will become a cross pattern. Now you can uh, draw an ROI that you would like to create by freehand. And once you release your left button, you will see there is a new ROI created. As you can see, the ROI region is labeled as the uh, transparent red region right here. And now you can uh, modify this ROI by simply click the threshold checkbox within the process panel. Uh, there is another pop-up menu right here. You can select the selected ROI right here. The function of a stress holding is to help you to get rid of the pixels with 
lower or higher intensity that you don't want. So now we select the, the criteria to be higher. Once the pixel higher than this specific value, then the pixel will be included in this ROI. Now we can adjust this value by simply typing a specific number, or you can simply use this slider bar. As you can see right here, it's pretty useful to deal with some um, legion RI with very uh, complicated RI boundary. Once you are sure that uh, this shape is good enough, then you need to click the Apply Threshold to make the change. If you didn't click this Apply Threshold, the RI will maintain the original appearance. And now you can see that even we use the thresholding, there are still some isolated pixel or some isolated region right here. If you don't want to preserve this um, isolated pixel, you can use the region growing button right here. So simply select the ROI you'd like to perform the region growing and click the region growing button. And now again, your mouse will turn into a cross sign. Now you can simply select the seed point by left click your mouse. For example, I for example I put one seed point right here and one seed point right here. Once you have done your selection, simply double click your mouse quickly, then you will see there is a message right here. This message box asks you whether you want to preserve the original RI or you only need to preserve the new one. If you click Confirm, then it will delete the original one. So if I press Confirm, you will see the region grid will help you to uh, remove the isolated pixels right here. In the next step, now you can, you can simply scroll into the next slide right here. And again, you can press the new create new RI button right here and now you can select a new region again we use the same threshold holding value right here and then again apply the threshold you don't want to use different um, threshold value through different uh, uh, image slices make sure that you use the same threshold value there is a more clever way to apply the thresholding to all the RIs. That means you can first create all the RIs in different slices. Again, create a new one in the next slice. And again, create a new one in the next slice. And now you can select the multiple RIs by using Shift. And again, check the threshold checkbox and apply the same threshold. Before you uh, click the apply threshold button, you can scroll over your slices to check whether the um, thresholding value is good enough. Once you are sure, click the apply threshold. In a similar way, you can also perform the 3D region growing by selecting multiple RIs. Now you can click the uh, region growing button right here and put your seed points. Now press confirm. You will see this region growing is actually performed in a three dimensional way. So you can see the region growing will affect all the ROI you selected. You may also copy the created ROI by simply click the copy button right here. The program will copy the original RIs into another set of RIs. You can see the RIs are automatically labeled as RI2 right here. This is identical to the original one. And there is another thing you can do is to rename the RIs. Select the RIs you'd like to rename and click the rename button right here and you can input the, the ROI name the name ROI and the new name new 
As you can see right here, the number right here indicates if there are several different allies within the same slice. If you see there is a slice 24, there is another 24, so this is the first RI, and this two means this is the second RI. Again, there is slice 25, there is one RI right here, and there is another RI. Also, you can delete uh, the RI that you don't want. Please be aware that this step cannot be re reversed, so be very careful to use the remove function. Now I click Confirm to remove all the RI. As you may see that to produce all the RI slice by slice would be very time consuming. So there is another way to do is to use the thresholding in a different way. Now you can switch the threshold mode to the image slices. Again, click the threshold. Different from the previous uh, process, now the thresholds apply to the old slices. Again, the pixels higher higher than the specified value will be preserved, otherwise will be removed from the our eyes. Click the, the apply the thresholding button. The program will create all the slices with the specified thresholding condition. And now as you can see, not only the region side but also lots of the region outside the brand were included in these OIs. So now what we, we are going to do is to use the region growing function. We select all the OIs. You can simply click the control with A. And now we can again specify the set point so put right here maybe one here and double click it wait for a short moment you will see the messaging to confirm whether you'd like to remove the original all eyes now i press confirm as you can see now with the region growing most of the regions were um, were excluded from the original all eyes after the region growing is done, they may still have several uh, regions you don't want to preserve. And now you can uh, perform the region growing again, but start with other slices. Or you can use the brush function to manually remove the pixels or regions you don't want to include. You can click the brush both button right here. Once you click it, it will switch to the brush on mode. And then the number right here is used to adjust the brush size. Now we uh, input the number like 5. As you can see now the brush size is 5 pixels. If you want a larger one, input 15. And now we can uh, go through the slice that we like to remove the region we don't want. For example, this one. By pressing uh, left mouse, you will see you will uh, add in more regions into the selected RI. By pressing the shift along with the left mouse button, you can erase the regions you don't want. You will need to go through all the slides to make sure there's no regions that are outside the region. There's one more thing you can do is to apply this RI into different uh, image contrast. To give you a simple demonstration, I'd like to only preserve some slices in the middle of the frame. So I'd like to remove part of this RI to make this demonstration easier. I only preserve several RIs here, as you can see. And now, I'd like to copy these RIs into another set. 
Now I select this new set and I switch the imaging to the post contrast T1 weighted images. Now we can adjust the image contrast. If you want to um, have another set of RI that only preserve the regions with obvious contrast enhancement, now you can use this new set of RIs. But now you try to apply the threshold by this, uh, to the selected RIs. Now we can adjust the value. So now we only have the um, regions with significant contrast enhancement. Click Apply Stress Hole. Now the rename function becomes very useful. We'd like to rename the original RIs as the edema region. And then I'd like to rename the new set of RIs as the enhanced region. Now you can very easily to differentiate the different set of the RI by their name. This is the way how we apply the RIs into different image contrast. In particular situation, we may want to perform some uh, morphological process. To do so, you can select the morphology options under the utility menu. Click it, you will find that uh, there are two new buttons showing up. Dilate and erode. It will perform the mask dilation and the mask erosion on the selected ROIs. By clicking dilate one time, as you can easily see that the region was dilated by one pixel. And again, dilate more, you can also use the erode button to remove the pixel close to the margin. This function may be useful if you would like to consider some particle effect. Then you can use this morphological operation to modify your RIs. You can also perform the Boolean operation uh, between RIs. You can simply unselect the morphology utilities right here. There is a sign of plus and also a sign of minus right here. This one stands for the union of RIs, and this one means they exclude specific parts of the RI from others. So now we can remove the parts of the enhanced region from the edema RIs. To do so, first select all the edema RIs, then click the minus button right here, and then select the second set of the RI you'd like to remove then click the equals button. Then you will see that the edema regions right now exclude all the regions that already assigned to the enhanced RI. So till now, all the uh, designed RI functions were introduced. Before we introduce the calculation of radiomic features, Remember to save the RIs that you just created by clicking the Save button. There's a pop-up window to ask you assign a file name. I may recommend you to use the original one, which is created by combining the patient ID with an underlying RI. Now click Save button. A new file will be created in the subject folder right here. So next time, if you want to review or use the RI that you created, you may be able to open the multi-RI window and then simply click the load button right here, select the RI file that you created before, then you can find all the RIs in the RI list.